Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be looking at some fantastic creations. Now before we check these creations out, I want to go ahead and let you guys know that the theme park update will be out on Saturday. This is a point in time where I was going to have to push my schedule back. I talked about it in the channel update, I think I even mentioned it in the last Scrap Mechanic episode. So the next Scrap Mechanic video will be out on Saturday, and hopefully you join us for that because it's going to be fantastic. So. But anyways, today we are going to be checking out some creations. Now these creations are by Bioside. I've got three of his creations here. I'm going to link his channel. I'll probably flash it up on screen here. He's a fantastic German YouTuber. He creates just some awesome things in Scrap Mechanic. And all these things are available on the workshop. They are all vanilla. They don't have any mods on them. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it all in the description. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, Scrap Mechanic looks a little bit different today. And it does. I am using one mod today. Now that is not going to affect any of the creations. These will work in the vanilla scrap mechanic. But today is kind of a theme. I'm going with an outer space moon theme. And I'm using Durf's moon mod. I'm going to link his channel also in the description if you'd like to check this mod out. Just be sure to back up your main game before you take on any of these mods. Because sometimes they don't like to interact with the main game. Uh, good or say if you screw something up and something gets deleted and corrupt so Every time I use mods I always use a disclaimer of you know always back up your game But yeah, this is a fantastic mod it turns the whole area and it makes it just look like the moon It replaces the skybox you can see the uh, earth right there and that is just awesome It also gets rid of all the pesky trees Those trees are really bad when you're flying stuff around, but I love the way this looks. Uh, Derp's also got a couple other environment mods. I think he's got like Apocalypse one, he's got a Rain one, and I think he was one of the first ones. I think he did the Night one, so... Anyways, really awesome. Okay, the first creation we are going to check out is the Bio Rover. Now this thing is just absolutely fantastic looking. I want to actually show you guys uh, what happens when you put it on the lift and take it off. It actually kind of folds out. Uh, I think it's going to come this way. Let's go ahead and delete the lift. Oh, nope, it went the other way. But yeah, this is a nice rover to drive around on the moon here. Let me go and open it up. It's it's awesome the way this thing opens. Uh, where's the button? Oh, it's in the back. There it is. Oh, side button. There we go. He's got a lot of buttons on the outside. I think he's got a couple on the back, too. But yeah, it folds open like that. Let's go ahead and climb in. It's got quite a few buttons because this thing does quite a few things. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close the uh, capsule up. Let's take a peek at the inside. And man, this looks absolutely awesome you've got two seats here I mean just the way he used these vanilla parts it's really amazing looking and this thing handles really good too uh, let's go ahead and drive around it turns on a dime so you can just swing around I think it climbs pretty good too now it does have like these little stabilizers on it he's got these thrusters and let me go ahead and activate them real quick okay that's the forward one he's got these down thrusters these will pin the suspension down and this will gain you a lot of extra traction but he's got like different power levels of them, so you can just turn on those three. Actually, it's going to be six. Or you can turn on the extra ones and make it basically compress itself all the way. And it's really hard to flip this thing. Like, you can run this over hills. It's just pinning itself down. Now, this rover also has a, another mode. It's got a mode where it'll flip those thrusters on the other side. And you can actually fly around with this thing. Uh, we'll find a little bit better area to do this with. Uh, let's see, maybe, I don't know, maybe over here. Let's try it here. Let's go ahead and deactivate those. Let's see, there we go. Flip them over and we're activated again. Oh, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, I jumped out. That's not good. Oh, okay. Let's see, let me go ahead and open this back up. Hit the uh, E key there. That's not good. Okay, hop back in, close her up. Let's go ahead and swap those thrusters around. Actually, there we go. They're already still swapped around. Yeah, it's pushing a little to the back. I wonder if I just activate the front thrusters. Uh, let's try just the uh, six thrusters. Let me go ahead and get back on stable ground here and see what happens. Because maybe we can use, say, these. No, those don't quite push it up enough. Let's try the two. Yeah, it seems like we need all of them together. But I guess you can use the, uh, the thrusters that actually kick it forward because he's got these thrusters that are powered that way and this will speed it up I bet you if we maybe hit this button here I know we're gonna do a flip here there we go oh actually that almost looked like it was planned 
but yeah, it hovers around, drives really good. I, I love this thing. And I, I love looking at creations. I love looking at other people's creations because it's like one of those things where I sit there, I, I'll build my own creation and I, I know what I want. I'll build it and if it works, it's fun. It's really cool. I can play around with it for a little bit. But once you get a hold of somebody else's creation and you start playing around with it, it's just like, man, why didn't I think of any of this? But uh, let's go ahead and take it back to the other side. We're going to check out the rover next. I'm going to save the shuttle for last because obviously... We're on the moon. We're going to shoot off of it real quick. Uh, let's see if I can get over here. Let me turn off my front thrusters. All right, let's climb out here. That is awesome. I love that. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in Scrap Mechanic. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys the uh, spider web real quick. That thing is busy. There's a lot of controllers, a lot of bearings. I absolutely love this creation, and it is definitely going to stay saved to my lip because I want to play with this thing some more, so... Anyways, let's go ahead and go check out the other creations. Alright, we're going to check out the Moon Rover real quick. This is a, another creation that looks extremely detailed. You can see he used all those individual pieces. That is awesome looking. Uh, let's see, what do we got going on here? Let's go ahead and open up the uh, spider web. Lots of controllers. Lots of them. Looks like I got a lot of bearings on here. Uh, this thing, neither one of these creations lag at all, so that's pretty good considering the amount of bearings on this thing, so uh, he did a really good job with that. Let's see, let's go ahead and hop in here, close the door, let's go ahead and see what the inside looks like. Really detailed, I, I really need to just remove those tiles, that way I can see right through that glass. But uh, I'm really digging the inside, he's got a little hole you can climb out. Let's go ahead and drive this thing around. Another one of his creations, it turns on a dime, and oh no, I think I've gotten a little too close to the uh, the shuttle there, I'm getting a little bit of lag. Yep, Scrap Mechanic still does not like collision, they don't like creations like this getting close to each other. Hopefully the new engine will fix that, because that is really annoying, especially in multiplayer when you're trying to like drive around or race each other and you get real close and you get that all of a sudden like really big FPS loss. It's always really annoying, but let's see, where do I want to take this thing? This thing works really good. You can kind of see the uh, suspension. It flexes a little bit. It doesn't give too much. Uh, the mod here it is just an environment mod, so it doesn't actually, like, say alter gravity. I don't know if that's even possible in the game. Uh, that would be really cool if you can make everything lighter, and maybe when you hop up and down, you'd actually float a little bit, since we are technically on the moon here. But yeah, I really like this creation too. He's got some other creations that are really similar to this. He's got a lot of like space creations. He does a lot of flyers, a lot of hovercraft. I actually think I've got a couple more that I downloaded, but I was trying to keep this all kind of space themed, so I'm not going to show those here, but uh, definitely once you go to his workshop. Now, he did have a couple creations. Uh, I think they're at the top right now. It's like a double bladed helicopter. He had, well, I actually had a couple of those. Uh, one of them was like a tack chopper. I think it might have been from a game, but uh, they showed it on, uh, a lot of people showed it off on YouTube. Uh, it was really fantastic. He's got a couple items on his workshop that you guys will probably notice. So I went ahead and picked out a couple of his other unique creations that maybe you haven't seen yet. But uh, let's go ahead and hop out of this. That one gives me a little bit of lag, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, compared to that one, the one over to the left is actually really pretty busy, so... That one gives me a little bit of lag. It also doesn't help that I have both of those in the world right now because his uh, creations are pretty complex. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one off the lift real quick. That way I can just focus on the uh, shuttle here. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out that shuttle. All right, here is the space shuttle. Now this thing looks like it's made out of wood. It's very light. You got to keep these things as light as possible. You can see the spider web is pretty ridiculous. Looks like there's a lot of thrusters in the bottom, uh, quite a few controllers and bearings. And let's go ahead and climb into it real quick. There we go. Uh, let's see, I guess this will close it up. Oh, this is really nice. Uh, you can see all the stuff back here. He's got a bunch of suspension pieces. I'm assuming we're using some sort of suspension glitch or... Oh yeah, yeah we are. So we've got that. Uh, looks like we can climb out the back there. Uh, let's see. I don't. I'm kind of afraid to hit some of these buttons. Oh, ooh, I like that. Okay, let's hit another button. Okay, that's the side door. That is awesome. Let me try to zoom out here where you can see that. Oh, that is really, really cool. Okay, let's go ahead and. Oh, wrong button. Let's go ahead and close this back. 
There we go. And look at this cockpit. Wow. That is really detailed. I love how he slanted these controllers and buttons out. I really kind of want to press some of these, but I have a feeling they would actually do something I don't want them to do quite yet. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this thing back on a lift. That way it's aimed straight up and we'll launch off here. And uh, I love that view. I really wish maybe Scrap Mechanic will adopt these mods, or at least some of these environments. Maybe you can have like a button, just switch these out and go from like the uh, vanilla environment to maybe something like this, because this is really cool looking. This just fits the theme perfectly, so... Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna set this thing up and we're gonna attempt to fly here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, it's a little tight here. The camera doesn't quite know what it wants to do because I don't, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Uh, let's go ahead and just zoom out. Uh, it's really tight in there and I think the camera is just freaking out, so... Hmm, which button do I want to click? Uh, the instructions were there, but they were in German. I think I got most of it. But let me go ahead and uh, let's go and hit the one key here. Not really sure what that's doing. Let's try the two key. No, nothing on the two key. Three key, four key. Actually, I think these might be how we actually turn. Let's go ahead and go to the five key here. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, the six key. Uh, nothing that I. S I don't see anything happening here. Okay, you can control all the doors from here too. I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be the big doors. Actually, you know what? I accidentally welded the seat. I needed to climb up in this thing and oh, I shut one of the doors. That's disappointing. But I, oh, this floats up really nice. Look at that. All right, let's see if we can, do I need to flatten this thing out? Let's go ahead and take the thrusters off real quick and just see how this thing exactly works. Ah, here we go. That's how we flatten. Let's see if we can activate the five thruster again and just kind of level this thing off. And oh, 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 oh. Try to see exactly. There's got to be. There's bound to be a back thruster. There they are. Okay, there is back thrusters on there. Ooh, I am failing miserably. Uh, let me let me set this back on a lift real quick. And actually, I might be stuck in his creation. There we go. Okay, round two. Let's try this again. So we're going to hit the five. There we go. The five key. So that's how we flatten it out. And I really think this thing is mainly meant to lift. Lift and turn. I, I'm pretty sure it handles pretty good, but I'm not exactly used to the controls. Uh, everybody kind of has their own unique control scheme, but this thing is super stable. And I'm just trying to work the uh, suspension glitch here and just see exactly how everything works. You know, I can get it to poke back up here. That's going to tip the nose up. It's going to turn it. And also the A, let's see, it looks like the A and D keys also work. Pretty sure I'm going to hit the skybox really quick because, because we are just flying up. That's actually really cool. And that looks really weird from here. This is, this is awesome. I kind of figured I'd already be on. There it is. I was looking for that skybox. I figured I was going to get close to it. There needs to be a mod to uh, make that a little bit bigger because Stuff like this is just awesome. I mean, it actually, you know, let's go ahead and pin ourselves, see if we can pin ourselves to the top and just open it up real quick. There we go. Let's go ahead and let's turn it. Try to get that nose to poke up. I'm going to let it hit the skybox and we'll see if I can pin myself and almost make it look like we're floating because I think that would be awesome. So let's do that. Where's the rover? Oh, the rover's way over there. Okay, I think we're probably really close to it. Actually, we could be pinned. No, we're still moving up. There it is. Okay, we've got ourselves pinned to the top of the uh, skybox here, so let's go ahead and open that up. That is really, really cool. I love the way this looks. Uh, fantastic creation. Let's go ahead and drop ourselves back down to Earth. Well, I was about to say Earth, but this is uh, now the moon. Uh, Earth is right there. But yeah, these are some really fantastic creations. Uh, definitely go check them out. He's got all these on the workshop, so if you guys want to play with these. Also, I'll link Durf's channel if you want to do the moon mod. Like I said, back up your game before you do any of these. And he's got a really good set of instructions on how to install this little moon area, so if you'd like to do that. But yeah, if you want to send any of your creations to me, I am more than willing to accept them. I will flash it up on the screen. 
I'm also still taking creations for the theme park. Uh, you guys have been absolutely crazy about that. You've been sending me stuff left and right. And unfortunately, I won't be able to use everything, but it's still awesome seeing the amount of support. Uh, the other channels that have been sending stuff over, it's been really cool. So yeah, if you like to check that out, I'll probably link the last episode in the description. That also has a download on it, so if you want to download that map and you and your friends can go play in the theme park, uh, it's definitely fantastic. But anyways, like I said, it will be out Saturday. Uh, tomorrow, if I get a video out tomorrow, it's going to be something completely random. That's if. I talked about taking an off day each week. I didn't mean for it to be on Friday, so I'm going to try to switch that around next week to maybe like Wednesday. Uh, but it looks like this week is going to be on a Friday. That way I, I have plenty of time tomorrow to sit down with the park and do quite a bit of building. That way I can get another episode ready for you guys. But anyways, if you have any suggestions for games, any suggestions for scrap mechanic, anything, just let me know below. I normally hang around the video for about 30 minutes after and answer comments. So if you have any suggestions, just let me know down below. And if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.